Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Newman. I'm the video and webinar producer here at Wowza Media Systems. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to connect Wowza Streaming Engine with Facebook Live. So the first thing that I wanna note is that I do have Wowza Streaming Engine up and running in the background. And I've also already logged into the UI for Streaming Engine. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna to go to Applications and select the application I've created for this demo. If you did wanna test the live stream, you can always go to Test Players, you can hit start. There's that live stream coming in, looking good. So if we wanted to take that stream and push it to Facebook, all that we need to do is create a stream target. In order to do that, we're just gonna to go to the left-hand side under stream targets. The first thing you're gonna notice is that under status, it says stream targets are not enabled. That's totally fine. We're gonna create our stream target first, and then we're gonna enable it afterwards. So once I add that stream target, you're gonna see a couple different options for what I can select. Today, I'm just gonna do Facebook Live. I'm gonna hit Next. Now, under the stream target name, this is really just an identifier inside of Wowza Streaming Engine, so you can call it anything you want to. So I'm just gonna call this Facebook Live. The source stream name is actually a lot more important. This is specifying the stream that you're trying to push to Facebook Live. If you don't know the name of your stream, you can always go back up to here to Incoming Streams, and you can find out the name of that stream. But I know that by default, mine is just called my stream. Now, the title and description are specific for the Facebook post. So you can call it anything you want to. Same goes with the description. And then next, you're just going to want to log into your Facebook account. Because I'm already logged in, it should just verify and push back. And it looks like it did. Now, just for the sake of clarity, we've gotten this question a lot. It does not matter what kind of account you have for Facebook. It can be a business account or a personal account. It doesn't matter. You can push a stream to it. So next, under destination, you're going to notice that if you do select my timeline, you have an option for privacy. You can select who's actually going to be viewing that stream. But if you go to either page, group, or event, you're going to notice that that option changes. So the privacy setting is actually only available inside of the my timeline uh, dropdown. So I'm going to select that, and I'm just going to do public. I don't mind that people are seeing this stream. And when I click Finish, that stream target has been set up and is configured to push to my Facebook account. So the only other step that we need to take is to enable those stream targets. So if I go back to Return to Stream Targets, and I can enable them, you are going to have to restart the application, which only takes a second. Next, you're gonna notice that under status, it says waiting. Really all that's doing is just connecting to Facebook and you're gonna notice it's gonna to change to active in just a second. Perfect. So now that it's changed to active, we know that it's publishing directly to our Facebook account. So if I go there, I should be able to see that stream coming in. Perfect. There's that live stream and it's good to go. So connecting Wowza Streaming Engine to Facebook Live really is that easy. If you have any questions for us, you can reach out to us at sales at wowza.com or for more specific questions, you can reach out at support at wowza.com. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks and take care.